Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you this morning for an album review. This is the start of a marathon studio album reviews that I'm going to be doing from today all the way to May 12th. Uh, for the V Reunions albums, uh, well, it's going to be the first album for Time to Break the Spell that I just got done listening to. I believe it's a 2005 or 2006 album. Somewhere around there. So, I'm gonna discuss what I listened to for this debut studio album by the Veer Union. If I'm pronouncing it right. Sometimes the Union thing that I try to say, it sounds very monotone and uh, hard to understand if I'm saying Union. I'm trying to, at least. And, yeah, let you know my thoughts on it. So, let's dive into this review. Now, this album was actually awesome. I really loved it. Um, I Will Remain was a great opener to the album, which I've noticed that going into reading into their discography and the track listings, there's a few songs that are going to be on the other albums, too. But Divide the Blackened Sky just only has one older song. That's going to be on that album. And three songs on the Against the Grain album with Seasons in it. Which I really enjoyed the Seasons song. That was a great song. Uh, I Will Remain was a great opener to this album. Don't Take It Out On Me is another awesome track. Uh, Crispin's voice in most of this uh, album is very good. There's a few moments in the album... In the Over Me song, uh, I guess there's some cringe vocals in uh, Over Me a bit, but not as bad. It's not to the point where it's a bad song, it's just an alright song. I just didn't, I don't think Over Me was the kind of song for me or whatever. It just felt a little stale at times, in my opinion. Uh, but Hide the Truth was another, I think that was the, one of the weakest songs, uh, on the album, Time to Break the Spell, by the Beer Union, and Another World Away was a great song, Breathing In, I really enjoyed, Falling Apart was great, uh, there's quite a bit of bangers on this album. Uh, the final track actually closes the album very well, which is called Sold Me Out. And I really like how Crispin's voice in it is great. He does have a backup singer that, and well, back in the day when they were starting off, which was like 2005 or 2006, when they did make this album, um, they, well, Crispin had someone backing his vocals. For different parts of the songs uh, that he was singing. And Falling Apart is a great song. I really enjoyed the melody to it. It is about a four minute track, but it is enjoyable. See Right Through You is a very awesome song. I really love it. Uh, I just love the guitar riffs and the drum work in that song. Uh, Wish You Well is another great one. I wasn't sure if I'd like it as much, but I guess if I go back and listen to this album again, I probably would give it the rating I'm going to give it in just a moment, because uh, it's a very awesome album. Um, I was not disappointed with this album. Sorry if I keep saying um and all that. I'm just trying to think of other things to talk about with this album that I enjoyed. Execution is very well done. Uh, then you got the production work that flows naturally with this album. Mostly the drum work and the guitar work in this whole album is great. Crispin's voice and the backup singer that's backing up his vocals. He's the guitarist that backs up his vocals. I think the lead guitarist or something like that. Or rhythm guitarist. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of bangers. I'm Sorry is a pretty mellow track. And I think that was the only song I couldn't 
talk about just yet, but uh, I'm going to talk about it now. I'm Sorry was a really nice song. Uh, acoustically, it's very well done, and Crispin's voice in it is really nice, and I really enjoyed this song. So production-wise and execution, this album did very awesome. I really enjoyed this album. I'm just giving the rock symbol because this album does rock for sure. Uh, overall, I think the Veer Union's time to break a break the spell. I almost said break a spell. <laughs> time to break the spell. If I'm saying it right this time, <laughs> uh, was a very good album. I really liked it. Um, I'll give this one props because I really enjoyed this album and Crispin's voice in it. I think there were moments where I wasn't sure if I like his vocal pitches in certain songs, but uh, no, it didn't do that bad over me. So I really enjoyed this album and I definitely probably will purchase it uh, in time. It's just right now I'm kind of broke, so. <laughs> Yeah, I've just been buying some anime shows, so, yeah. But first score, I'm going to give the Veer Union's Time to Break the Spell a 9 out of 10. This is a very good album. I highly recommend you check it out if you haven't heard it. And shout out to Corn Zen for uh, requesting this band to me and to review their albums. I'm sorry that it took me so long to review their albums. I just had other marathon album reviews to do before this and I did say I was gonna do it in early May so it's early May now and yeah I hope you enjoyed this album review Corn's End and anyone else that watched it hopefully you enjoyed it comment below let me know what you guys thought of the Veer Union album uh time to break the spell if you've heard it and if you like this album review that I made for you guys uh kind of almost late this morning comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap a like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel the next veer union album is going to be on may 8th which is saturday you'll be seeing it sometime in the afternoon or close to early evening on saturday so definitely be on the lookout for that and i will do coming to america movie review either Saturday or at the latest Sunday. Well, actually, I'm going to be busy this Sunday going to see my nephew. Yeah, because I'm just going to be busy. Uh, my sister's kid, of course. So I, yeah, I'm an uncle now. <laughs> I've been an uncle for a couple months. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um... I forgot to mention that to you guys, but I don't really mention my personal life stuff too much, and I'm starting to get too personal with this YouTube thing and mentioning what I do in real life and all that stuff, and how my days go and all that, but yeah, I hope you did enjoy this Veer Union album review for Time to Break the Spell. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Um... And the next two albums after the Against the Grain album, which I'm doing that on Saturday, May 8th, for the Against the Grain Veer Union album. And the next two, Divide the Black and Sky and Decade, will be on May 10th and May 12th. So, I hope you enjoyed this review. I did the best I could to make it as good as possible. Stay safe, take care, and as always, I'll see you in my next video.